The conference finals start this evening, and you look at the four teams that are involved. According to Craig, one of those teams, right, will one end up gonna win. winning the championship. <laughs> are right. you sure? Those are the teams. One team's going. One of them's going to win. Craig, Next. you you took the time to pick out some individuals involved and how their legacies would change yeah. should they take their team. Look, because uh, playoff success uh, is what determines legacies. A lot of times it's what determines whether or not you get into the Hall of Fame as well. So there's a couple of interesting people on each one of these teams where winning a championship forever changes you know, their status in the game. Now, to be fair, Eddie won a championship. Tim's in the Hall of Fame and didn't win a championship. So we recognize how hard it is to win them. Greg only won one Super Bowl. And despite having the greatest quarterback in only. the history of the sport, Look at which, you did, you uh, which is interesting. I'm just saying it's <laughs> hard to win a championship. But, but you want. He's right? in the Packer Hall of Fame, but he's not in the NFL Hall of Fame. So there's a lot of things to it. But I just thought it was interesting, certain guys uh, on each team. So the first guy that comes to mind, Tim Hardaway, yes. is the guy that I get a lot of heat for saying is one of the greatest guards to ever play the game, and that's Kyrie Irving. Yes. If the Mavericks win a title... He now has two NBA titles, yes. and he wins one without LeBron James. From a legacy standpoint, I think it changes the conversation for some people that aren't in love with Kyrie Irving if he gets number two. Let me ask you this. Did they say that about Kobe Bryant? Co that he needed a second one? Yes, without 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 or, uh, Sha Shaquille O'Neal. Uh, there's some people that probably did. Yeah, 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 some people that probably did. I think winning one without LeBron uh, will, you know, not only uh, – uh, stop questioning his his legitimacy. Yeah, I think that um, people will say, "All right, he's legitimate now." I think he's legitimate now. Anyway. I, and you know, I feel you the know, same way. To me, to me he's one of the five greatest yeah. guards to ever play basketball. Yeah, no question, no question. I, you know, I have to pick him top ten because there's a lot of great guards that came through the sure. NBA. For you sure, you know that a lot of people. But don't do you know. think winning a second one changes the narrative on Kyrie Irving, the basketball player? Yes. You do. Eddie, you with me on that or no? no I, I'm, I'm going to say this. I don't think that it would change it because what they'll say is that he did it with LeBron and then he did it with Luka as the second guy, not the main guy. So, like, when, when they had those questions about Kobe, right, it was like right. Kobe and Shaq. Can he win without Shaq? And right. then Kobe wins two more without Shaq, even though he had Gasol, he had Bynum and things like that. But – I think Kyrie's legacy is, is etched in stone already. Yeah. It would just be another feather in his cap. Yeah, I mean, he's a first ballot Hall of Famer. No it's question. the off-the-court stuff that bothers people. His game has never bothered anybody because he's truly one of the great guards to ever play basketball. All right, let me give you a uh, second guy, Boston Celtics. By the way, the Boston Celtics are favored by 10 points in game one against Indiana Pacers uh, tomorrow. Uh, but let me start off with Jason Tatum. He's been in like nine Eastern Conference Finals <laughs> in his you know, five-year career, which is almost impossible. Uh, does he need to win a title? And if the Celtics finally get over that hump, and this would be the easiest road to do it, with all due respect to the Pacers and whoever they play out west, would it change the narrative on Jason Tatum? You know, Carl Malone, it wasn't changed the narrative with him. Stockton, it didn't change the narrative with him. Charles Barkley or myself, you know, I, I don't think you could do all that you can do to try to win. Yeah. Um, but sometimes it's not in your cards. It's not for you. So you just got to go out there and play the way you can play and do the things that you can do and hopefully that you win. But I, I don't think it would change the narrative of his, of his legacy. See, I think it does. Yeah. I think it does. He's a great player. No one disputes that. Uh, he is uh, the leader of a team that's been to multiple Eastern Conference Finals and you cover the Celtics. But I, I, I do think, and maybe it doesn't mean anything, you know, because his career numbers will eventually speak for themselves. But I do believe for those who cover the game and talk about the NBA, Tatum's got to win a championship. Yeah, I think so. Now, they've been there so many times, and he in his prime. So this is a difference, is that he's not young like he was when he was first getting into these conference finals. He's in his prime right now. Jalen yeah. Brown's in his prime. They got to get it done. Like, the Celtics fans, it has to – Boston, but, it has to happen. But this is the other thing. It – it will put him up there with the Celtics legends. Yeah, I understand that. And that's the one thing that, you know, being a Celtics legend him. is something, yeah, something totally different. So, so Carmelo had the same, you know, sure. thing. So yep. why, you know, we put Carmelo up there and we're not going to put Tatum up there if he doesn't win? I think we should put Tatum up there. Yeah, Carmelo what, Anthony went, went to one to, Western Conference yeah, final. Right, but with I, the, I, with I, the Nuggets. That's what I'm saying. We got him up there. Yeah. And that's echelon. Yeah, we do. How come Tatum? 
can be up there in that echelon if he doesn't win. Fair enough. You know, Charles Barkley used to say, and the, I agree with him 100%, when someone said to him, how come uh, you never won an NBA championship? And he, his response, whether you want to argue it or not, I guess is Michael immaterial. Jordan. No, well, beyond Jordan, he goes, I was never on the best team. He goes, that's why I didn't win a championship. So while we look at individuals and where they stand in comparison to other guys, the reality is that he might be on the best team right now. Yeah. Now you go out there and you win a championship. All right, let me give you another guy. Let's go back to Dallas if we can. No one disputes that Luke is not one of the great scorers in the NBA. His defense has been suspect, but he's not obviously the better. Yeah. Not I'm sorry. Better. Playoffs. Slow-footed man, you said but it yourself. In the playoffs, he's been a lot better. A it's been better. better. Okay. A lot uh, better. A, a little bit better, you say? Okay. No, I said, I said a lot better. You said a lot better. Right. I just heard you then. I'm sorry about right. that. Right. Yes, you uh, did. <laughs> Luka Doncic, does it change anything if he wins an NBA title this year? If he wins an NBA title yeah. this year? Yeah, it changed a lot for him. You know, he, he, it, I mean, he did that number one slot just like Jokic. You know, for him, I, I think that uh, uh, right now he's there to me. Right. right, so he right. doesn't he need the title. He, he really doesn't, but I mean, for him, I think he, you know, with him and Kyrie, they want to win. When, it, when you start talking about the greats, and Luca's obviously one of the greats in the game, you start talking about titles. That's just that's just what happens. That's what that's comes just, with the territory. That, right. It comes with it, and I think that it would be if they won a title, it does enhance his yeah. because it shows that you can win playing that style. Yeah. Everybody question, can you win playing Being that the ball style? hogging style? Yes. He's a system yeah. sort of yeah. like LeBron and LeBron was able to LeBron was able to win it, yep. you know, in that with being the system. And so will they be able to win if they do win it, then he could show like, hey, you can yeah. win playing my Here's style. Here's the question, like, if the Dallas what? Mavericks win it, there's going to be a debate, was it Kyrie who brought him there or was it Luka who brought him there? How come and it, I how come it, And how, I think there'll be the guys arguing well, it. Uh, how come yeah. it can't be the team? Because it's, it's always, never about the team. It's, it's, tomorrow, it's right? never about the team. It is never always in, about well, the team. In the it's, locker room, it might be it, about it, the team. It's always about the yeah, team. Yeah, ask him who his you, Super Bowl was about. It's always yeah. about the team. Watch this. Who was your Super Bowl about, the team or one particular guy? It was about the team. Oh, guys. stop, yeah. man. Yeah. Let me, yeah. No, no, let me, let me, let me. You're just playing favorite of those guys. Let me ask you this. Real quick, let me ask you this. Yeah. If Aaron Rodgers couldn't throw to a great receiver, yes, they wouldn't win. I'm not sure what to make out of that. Okay. You throw it to some receivers. Yeah, maybe Aaron Rodgers made some people great. How about that? I, I was right? to say, that's that's fair. Maybe I, Brett look, Favre made I, some I, people I great. It, I look at right? it. I look maybe at it you ways. made Mitch, Mitch, Mitch Richmond great. And maybe they made, he made each other great. Maybe, 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 maybe made without you, Chris Mullins, just a slow footed white guy. No, 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 do not say that. No, 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 Molly can hoop. Molly can hoop. He's a baller. He knows I'm friends with Mullins. That's why I said No, he's a baller. And he's one of my other friends when I was a fan of his in St. John's. Were you a fan of his in St. John's? Yes, I was. You told me you like Walter Barrymore. What are you talking about? No, I did not say that. You didn't say You texted me yesterday. Again, what? Yes. Every day. <laughs> Every day. He put words in my mouth. All right, let me give you one more, if I can. He's quickly becoming the face and the voice of the NBA, uh, Anthony Edwards. If somehow, some way, the Minnesota Timberwolves pull off the unthinkable, and that is win their first ever NBA championship, does Anthony Edwards become the legitimate face of the NBA, Tim Hardaway. He's the face of the NBA right now. You think so? Right now, just because of what he has been doing, how he's been leading this this team to uh to the Western Conference Finals. Yeah. He's. I think he's going to be the. I guarantee you, he'll be the face of the league. Watch all the commercials that's about to happen. I was wondering because he's not in a lot of commercials just, just, right just, now. It's just starting. Just, it's just starting. Watch. But the thing with him, he's embracing it. I, yeah. And I think Adam Silver is looking for somebody, a, a guy that's him. you know it, it from the states to be the face of the. Uh, yep. Of the league and and Ant Man with everything he does, he can't say anything wrong. His he's got great are, sense of humor. He's yeah, very yeah. personable. So everybody is. He's a good-looking guy. Yeah. He's obviously a great basketball player. Yes. But he checks every box. And for me, this is going to sound very jingoistic, but that's who I am today. Yes, you all uh, you like that all the time, right? I love the jingos, right? Here's the deal. I happen to think it's important that he's American. I think the NBA 
needs a young American that's, star. That's, that's, that's right. He just, said, the, he just said. I didn't yeah. hear him. To be the cool. face. <laughs> yeah, get the Tootsie Roll of the you. NBA. <laughs> <laughs> Were you saying something similar? <laughs> I, I did say that. <laughs> when the, no, what? I said it right before you just, just said. said. See, that went the same page. It's called <laughs> active listening. <laughs> I'm not going to die. We got to do it. In Chicago, this is what we call in Chicago, listening is a skill. Yeah, now, Tim, let me ask you. I don't got to take a break. Quick question, Tim. For you, as a Hall of Famer, how important is it that the young new face of the NBA is American? To me, from America, I think it's very important because the, <laughs> the, because the, 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 the Europeans have taken They're over. over our they team. have taken over. For me, it, it's personal for me <laughs> it is. Because, because they have taken over uh, uh, America's game, really. We haven't had an American MVP since 2018. And it was James Harden. We don't really count him as an American. That, but that's... What? That's a... What are you... What? I'll walk you through it off there. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I mean, he flops like a European, does he not? Yeah, yeah. I mean, does he not? Well, he has... like an MVP. <laughs> he does. Yes, yes. He does. But here's, here's what I love. And it's why I love Tim Hardaway. It's personal to Tim that we don't have an American superstar as the face of the NBA. Right? It's personal. Yeah. Because you hate Europeans. No, I did not say that. <laughs> <I hate Europeans. laughs> there you go. Uh, Why do you keep putting stuff in my was mouth, it Canadians? Man? No. <laughs> huh? I love all basketball players. I'm just saying that Americans it's need... Tough sport. No, a need, Americans need to work on their games. And we and we don't work AAU. on our game at AAU. And we mm -hmm. need to work on... A, we need to get back to the fundamentals of games. You know why? And we haven't these. done it. Because of these, this is like cancer. No, it's the AU coaches, I'm telling no, you. They're, not, they're yeah. not teaching them nothing. Hey there, thank you so much for watching The Carton Show. You can subscribe right here to get all the latest bits and segments from the show. And by the way, while you're at it, we have a lot of great shows on FS1. So check them out too.